Waziri and uh, officials, uh, the management and uh, board of uh, Square Pharmaceuticals, and uh, members of staff, uh, good afternoon. There is a bigger team of uh, pharmaceutical companies in the KICC. And uh, I thought it was necessary for me to come to Ati River into, uh, into this facility because to contextualize between what pharmaceutical companies are doing and what we are getting as a country. I congratulate Square Pharmaceuticals Limited for what they are doing in Kenya. <laughs> the products they are producing in Kenya and selling to the Kenyan market, the products they are producing from here and selling elsewhere, the jobs they are creating for us in Kenya, the manufacturing opportunity that they uh, have made possible in Kenya, and the collaboration between uh, private sector players in Bangladesh and private sector players in Kenya. That is the kind of partnership that we are fashioning and that's the kind of uh, partnership that as government of Kenya we're going to support to make sure that we, lever we leverage on the market that we have, on the capabilities that we have, on the opportunities that exist in Kenya and in fact the opportunities that exist in our region to enable more companies to invest in different sectors of our economy and more particularly in this sector around pharmaceutical manufacture. We import at the moment 70% of all our pharmaceutical commodities and products. It's been the case for a while and we need to leverage on the opportunity that we have for pharmaceutical products to manufacture locally, create value locally, create jobs in Kenya. And my instructions to the whole, to the ministry and the sector is that in the next two years we should move our production of local pharmaceutical products from 30% to 50%, and in the next five years, we should be able to be self-reliant on pharmaceutical products. <laughs> Why I say so is because manufacturing locally speaks to the opportunity that we have locally. The space of pharmaceutical is guaranteed. We will always import pharmaceutical products. We've done so for long. You don't need a business case to invest in the pharmaceutical space in Kenya. That case has already been made over the years. And therefore, the connection between private sector in Kenya and private sector elsewhere is what we want to facilitate as government of Kenya and we are working on many interventions, including making sure that our own procuring entities prioritize Kenyan manufactured pharmaceutical products. I am acutely aware, and I've had a conversation with the management of uh, KEMSA, that they cannot continue to import products that are being manufactured locally. It is sabotage to our local manufacturing industry. <laughs> and it actually is sabotage to our own development and to creating jobs for the many young people out there who are looking for opportunity to work. And I am very happy that uh, as government, we are moving the needle, and now a company like Square here, they are now confessing for the first time that this year they got an opportunity to supply to KEMSA. I want to promise you that that is going to be the future. 
all the products you manufacture in Kenya will be given priority in procurement of all government pharmaceutical requirements. Um, and progressively, we are going to make it the responsibility of all other actors, both public and private, to make sure that we prioritize the purchase of locally manufactured products, including uh, pharmaceuticals. The space for us to do that is the reason why I came to Atheriba. We are establishing these special economic zones across Kenya. We're going to have another five special economic zones in Sagana, in um, Thika, in Nakuru, in Eldoret, in Busia, as a first phase. And it is our expectation that companies like Square will find the reason because we are providing incentives for investment in these uh, special economic spaces for them to work with private sector companies from elsewhere globally to establish their operations, their manufacturing capacities and capabilities uh, in Kenya. This uh, facility here at Athi River, I already gave uh, very clear instructions to the management here of EPZ that all speculators, people who have held uh, titles to pieces of land here for 10, 15, 20, 30 years without developing them should be revoked so that we can give it to people who want to use this facility. I am informed that we now have an extra 200, 250 acres of land that were originally occupied by speculators. They are now out of this place and we can bring additional pieces of land, additional space into the manufacturing uh, space here in EPZ at the river. We have now been uh, cleared by the courts on the land that is adjacent to EPZ that belong to um, uh, Portland Cement. My instructions are we will take either 1,000 or 1,500 of that land and make it part of EPZ here in the river so that we can create more space for more companies to set camp in Kenya, in Earth River, and give ourselves an opportunity to manufacture more products, pharmaceuticals, furniture, steel, cement, and all other uh, facilities that are necessary for us to manufacture locally as we expand our exports because that is what is critical to us as a country. As we target manufacturing, even of pharmaceuticals, we must also look at the market beyond Kenya. I encourage Square and all the other pharmaceutical companies and all the other companies set up in, setting up camp in Kenya to look at the opportunity that exists in the East African community, where we have close to 400 million people, and to look at the opportunity we have in Comesa, and to look at the combined opportunity between Comesa, SADC, and ESC, and look up further into the Africa continental free trade area because we have huge space, we have a big market, and there is big opportunity for companies that set up camp in Kenya to access those markets, we have made sure that our policies, our programs are aligned to make sure that uh, we give opportunity to um, our manufacturers, our investors to access uh, those markets. Again, uh, I know that it was brought to my attention about the water availability in this uh, uh, special economic zone. 
We are working around the clock to make sure that we deliver adequate, high quality water to facilitate the manufacturing that is going on in this space. I have given instructions to the Ministry of Water to make sure that the Northern Collector Tunnel that we have been engaged in its construction is completed. I know we are at the tail end and we are already working on a dedicated pipeline to the river to make sure that the companies who are here have access to water and other facilities to support manufacturing in this space. A request has been put to government to look at the tariffs on electricity that are being used in our special economic zones, especially in the river. Minister for Responsible will work with her counterpart in energy to make sure that we have a conversation as government because we want to play a facilitative role in ensuring that we create the environment necessary for investors, for industrialists, and for people who want to work with us in the manufacturing space to find the right environment for them to invest. Congratulations again, uh, Square Pharmaceuticals. Um, we look forward to uh, coming to open the other facility that you have shown us soon. It had better be soon, because I have too many people who are looking for jobs. And uh, I want them to, uh, whatever it is that I can do to help you, so that you can also help me to create opportunities for the young people of Kenya, I will do my part, and I hope you keep your part, your part of the bargain. So congratulations again, everybody. Uh, I am very happy and, uh, to be part of this uh, great event. Congratulations, uh, Mr. Uh, Kailemia for this investment and the partnership you have built between Kenya and uh, Bangladesh. I want to tell Ambassador who uh, said that uh, he wants us to establish an embassy in Bangladesh that I will give that request very due consideration. <laughs> so otherwise, thank you very much, Asante Nisana, Bile uh, Nimesema, Tunataka Kuongeza, Kwanza kufukuza wale watu wakora walikuwa hapa wameweka wamechukua ardhi na wataki kufanya chochote wanangojea kuuzia watu wengine wanangojea kufanya speculation sasa tumewaambia wafunge virago waende na ile ardhi imepatikana ya kutoka eh, Portland Cement eh, kama serikali tutanunua kiasi ya hiyo ardhi tuongezee katika facility hii ya Athi River, ya Special Economic Zone, ama Export Promotion uh, Space, ili tuweze kuajiri vijana zaidi, kufacilitate kampuni zaidi, nyingi ziweze kuwa hapa, na tuendele na program ya manufacturing industrialization katika taifa letu la Kenya. Asanteni sana, na watakia heri kwa wafanyi kazi wa kampuni hii pongezi kwa kazi nzuri mnafanya hapa na products ambazo mnafanufakcha hapa inasaidia eh, sehemu yetu ya hafya na mnajua tuko hapa leo kwa sababu tumeanza wiki ambayo kilele yake ni kuanzisha rasmi universal health coverage tare 20 kule kericho Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency.